Where are you all? Yo. Sounds a bit like um, Birmingham, uh, Alabama rather than Birmingham, England, do it? Because it tastes surprising, really, because um, if you think about it, the Pilgrim Fathers, when they uh, when they left for America from England, uh, it was around about Shakespeare's time, well, not long after he was dead, any road. And uh, it's well known that Shakespeare spoke like a, a bloke uh, from Dudley. And a lot of black country uh, words and, and pronunciation is a bit like old English. Take the word blart, for example. It's what uh, black country people say instead of crying or sobbing, like go yo go blarting like a baby. It's an old English word. As they say, or at least uh, George Bernard Shaw said, we am divided by a common language, maybe. He also said, an Englishman or open his mouth without another Englishman despising him. Well, true, that is. But, um, you know, I'm not the most cosmopolitan of chaps, but uh, I thought I knew about differences like sidewalk instead of pavement, or cookie instead of biscuit, and that sort of stuff. Chips means crisps over there. I knew all that, but, you know, you yeah, make mistakes, don't you? Like, uh, I was giving a talk in um, Columbia University in New York. Oh, was I? And I said, um, I was sliding down the ash mounds on the car bonnet. They don't know what I was talking about, did they? I mean, should have said hood. It's not the only word with cars, though, is it? It's, um, you know, hood and bonnet. It's like, say, truck or um, lorry or... Um, Boot instead of trunk, the other way around. Really. But oh, I lost my guard, day I. So I thought I'd make a, a short video for visitors to Darleston from New York or the other way around. Things, basic life things like uh, ordering food or clothes. I mean, you have to get into a bit of trouble sometimes. Ordering food can be hard. Lots of pitfalls for the unwary. Now, we know about cooking biscuit, I suppose, and, and the fries, chips, and crisps things, but what about, you know, a wench from New York would, would make of um, pikelets or um, a spotted dick? Yeah. And, yeah, I wouldn't get very far if I was um, in a bar in, in uh, New York and uh, you asked for scratchings. What you have with your point in, in uh, Dudley, but you don't have them there. I mean, scratchings are fried up pig skin. The um, airy bits are particularly prized, I think, but uh, I call a bite on myself. It's like having a bag of scabs. Any road, uh, yeah, I wouldn't get very far uh, asking for a cup of tea either, really. I wouldn't even bother because they don't make tea. I'd go for coffee. But uh, tea is what English people call tea. Most of the English people, I suppose. Um, so the um, the E's tend to become A's in black country, and the, and the A's become O's. Like, um, if you've got a plumber mending your tap, or force it if you prefer, um, he might say, this spanner ain't no good. Get us an armor and I'll give you tea one. But... That reminds me, there's a joke, I'll tell you a very funny joke, but it's a joke about a uh, kid blarting by the side of a cut. It's Mario. Oh, the mates fell off me sandwich in the cut. No, I got that wrong, my man. Me mates fell in the cut, it's the mate off me sandwich. I should be saying, I, I ain't very good at jokes. But um, Americans say ass a lot, don't they? And we know they don't mean donkey. Um, they mean bum, and maybe an American might know that bum means tramp to an Englishman. But it could get a bit confusing, because um, in America, tramp usually refers to a, a wench of ill repute. The word wench ain't popular either in, in most of the English-speaking world, but it's um, it's commonplace in, in the black country. Anyway, I wouldn't advise the transatlantic traveller to uh, to say anything about uh, wenches' appearances and, and particularly don't say they look homely because uh, homely means ugly in most of America, I think. 
But um, whatever you do, don't ask for faggots and gravy. However much you're missing them delicious faggots. Even worse, don't, don't say, um, oh, look at all them fag butts, it's disgusting. But people with a sense of civic pride might agree with you if they're in Dudley. But over there, they'd think that you was uh, homophobic or something. So, the worst thing, though, I think, is um, if, there's, if there's one thing that uh, an American wench needs to know, is... is uh, don't say funny if you can help it. Because in England, you don't refer to the backside. It's the most common term for a wench is front to bottom. Any knows. Talking about pitfalls, there's lots to do with clothes. Because uh, English blokes wear pants under their trousers and vests under their shirts. American blokes wear a vest over the shirt. Whereas a, a black country black wears a waistcoat over his neck. Might think he looks smart, but that don't mean that he's um, clever. It means he's, he's clean and tidy and well pressed. American women might wear garters to hold up the stockings, but a wench from Bilston would use suspenders. American men wear suspenders to hold their pants up. Englishmen wear braces to hold up their trousers, and you would not get an English bloke wearing suspenders, except maybe a ex-public school bloke. By public, we mean private, of course, like he. There ain't no public schools in the black country. Anyhow, talking of braces, Americans put them on their teeth, don't they? To straighten them out, and contrary to popular belief, Country people wear braces and all on the teeth, which are the same sort of braces. With babbies and all, I mean, an American would have a babby wearing diapers and sucking on a pacifier. Tipton, it'd be wearing nappies and having a dummy in its gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even at school. Stop them riding about. Blarting. Uh a Dudley Mon might have had too many Banksies mm. and you say he's pissed as a newt. He would. Well, I don't mean that newts are naturally annoyed, but that they live in liquid. So, American wenches visiting Dudley, if you only remember one thing, it's do say fanny if you only bump. And American blokes, they say you're going to turn up to a party wearing vest and pants with suspenders. Unless you're going to fancy dress as a pair. But uh, one thing everybody knows is that a female dog is a bitch. But it's very polite saying that word in, in America, even referring to a dog for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Max don't care. He said to me the other day, Come on, tell him, tell him. He said, I've got no bollocks, but I ain't no bitch. You did, do you? Or did I make that up? I might have dreamt it. Any road. Um, I think that's all, really. We, you know, he's, getting a bit, he's getting a bit restless. So um, I'll say uh, to our a bit for now and keep out the os road. Or I should say, stay, stay on the sidewalk. Don't, don't you think, eh? Stay on the sidewalk. <coughs> All right.